Hi friends, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to work on delete functionality in ASP.NET Core MVC application by using model pop-up. For deletion, we are not going to display model pop-up. Whenever user clicks on this delete button, we will display the confirmation message whether this record need to delete or not. Once the user is confirmed for the deletion, so we will delete the record from the database. For continuing this video, please watch my previous sessions which we worked out on how to read the data, how to insert and update the data by using the model pop-up. We will go to the product controller first. We have to create a method to delete the data from the database. For that, I am going to create one post action method. Here, we are going to pass the ID. before deleting the data so we have to find out whether this id is available inside the database or not for that i am going to check so by using the find method i am going to get the data here if product is not null then i am going to delete the data Once it is removed, we have to save the changes. So I am going to display this message to the user. Suppose if there is no data available with the ID which is passed by the user, then we have to display the message here. here I can pass the ID so we can display this message to the user now we will go to the product JS here we will write the delete function so here also we are going to pass the ID as input parameter so this delete functionality also it will be similar to the edit i can copy this i can reuse it here delete here instead of edit we have to pause the delete action method and we have to pause id here type will be post because we are going to delete the data and the content type it's not required here and data type also not required because we are going to post the data so instead of reading I will mention as unable to delete the data same thing I can make it here so once it is deleted we no need to display this data so we have to call get products function which is going to bind the data and we will display the response here here we are passing id once this data is deleted we will get the response here if it is null or undefined we are going to display this alert as unable to delete the data if response length is actually this is also not required so here based on the id we are going to delete the data we are going to pass the id as input parameter once data is deleted we will get the response if response is null or undefined we are going to display this alert if it is deleted successfully we are going to rebind the data and then we will display the response here this delete function will be called from here just i'll show it that so this is the button click event we are calling this 
delete function you can see this so this is calling from the button click event before deleting the data we have to take the confirmation from the user so here I am going to pass the message as If it is confirmed then only we are going to call this ajax method i'll run the application now we have three records i'm going to delete this record click on delete so are you sure to delete this record I'm going to cancel it so the record will not be deleted again I'm trying to delete this this time I'm going to click on ok so this product details is deleted once you click on ok so it's rebinding the data I'm going to delete another record here click on delete ok product details deleted so it's binding as per the expectation so like this we can perform the CRUD operations in ASP.NET Core web application by using the model pop-up that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching